Okay, Coach Lance Liu here from Minneapolis, Minnesota. This is week three of approximately 26 weeks of working towards lifting a heavier, swinging a heavier kettlebell. In this case, I'll be using a 150 pound kettlebell. And over the period of 25, 26 weeks, the primary goal, the primary goal will be able to swing this weight 10 times over a course of 30 minutes using an EMOM. So for a grand total of 300 total reps. So whatever bell size you're trying to work on in 2024, as noted previously, whether it's a 25 pound kettlebell, whether it's a 50 pound kettlebell, whether it's an 80 pound kettlebell, where you're trying to build mastery over that specific weight, that specific load, I uh, encourage you to follow me uh, for the next 26 weeks, where we'll be incrementally adding more reps, more volume over that period of 30 minutes. All right, let's go get it, stay strong. It always takes a few minutes to find that groove. The weight always, the weight always feels significantly heavier in those first two, probably five rounds, and then we kind of find our find our groove. All right, guys, here we go, five seconds. Again, 30 total minutes, utilizing that EMOM approach every minute on the minute. It takes 10 seconds to complete those five swings. You then have essentially 50 seconds of rest. The heart rate response over time should be pretty darn low since you are only working for five seconds. Okay, here we go, five seconds for takeoff. Nice deep breath, good hip hinge. Heart rate was about 117. Okay, 10 seconds. Feels good. Especially at that heavier load, you really feel the support of those lats as you extend through those hips. It really helps stabilize that spine. Prior to coming in here, I was in the sauna for 20 minutes. That's essentially my warm up for what it's worth. Softens up those hands, those calluses a little bit. Hopefully I don't rip these guys up too much. <sighs> Two minutes, 10 seconds.
I have not been evaluating that. I think it's taking about 10 seconds to get those five reps in. Try to keep a closer eye on that. Friends, make sure with those swings too, I've said this previously, but really try to think about locking out those glutes, locking out those knees to really feel that good hip extension and good follow through for rep. Here we go. One twenty four and dropping. I like this approach, it gives a significantly strong load on that system, but it doesn't overwhelm you. Okay, here we go, guys. Five seconds. Deep breath, good hip hinge. To avoid uh, hand carnage, you could put wraps on. I'm trying to avoid having to put those on. I'm trying to develop stronger hands, not that you're not developing strong hands with wraps, but I would just prefer to see if I can just withstand. One twenty nine, one twenty eight, one twenty seven. About 126 there for a hurry response. Would love to know what bell size you're working on. If you're still hanging with me here, we're about 745 into this workout of 30 total minutes. I'd love to know in the comments section what your, your primary goal here for your bell size. I'd love to hear about it. Here we go. Feet about shoulder width apart. Take note my lever arm, the length at which my arm is extended. 126, approximately 125. The extension of my arm is the limiting factor there. The further out that arm goes, the more challenge. I also would say the greater the mastery is of that weight. I am actually probably shortening that lever ever so slightly, still building strength and capacity at this bell. So hopefully at the end of that 30 week block, 26 give or take, I'll circle back, stand by. There you go, 10 seconds. The end of this block 30 30 weeks of work the goal 
intention is not only to complete those 300 reps in those 30 minutes, but is to even create even greater length in that extension arm. Again, it takes time. That's what I love about the process here. It's just gonna take time. It deserves and demands that respect. Okay, we're gonna take off here approximately five seconds for 10 minutes into the workout. Still figuring out the nuances of this new watch. 127. Something I didn't mention previously in the sets before is really make sure not only are you taking that nice deep breath to brace, create that good intro abdominal pressure, also with that good hip hinge, but thirdly, really think about retracting those shoulders, making those lats, those delts to help support these swings. Here we go. Right here. One twenty eight P car rate of one twenty eight. I hope you two are feeling strong this morning. Hopefully you're feeling gains weekly, monthly. That is one of the goals here with Tusker Strong. Here we go, deep breath. One twenty nine heart rate response, nice and aerobic, nothing too crazy. Okay, guys, we're nearing that halfway mark, coming up on thirteen minutes. Okay, three, two, one twenty nine, one thirty. As you notice, I love using bare feet. Explain again the logic there, taking off in three, two, One twenty nine peak. 
having those shoes off really allow you to feel the higher level of proprioceptive awareness, how your feet are, where they are positioned on the ground. Totally get it if you're at a gym. I trust me, I've had my hands slapped for having shoes off, I get it. That's for like Vivos, I love my Vivos for that. Uh, recently the, the tier uh, dropped zeros. It just hasn't gotten cold enough yet for me to feel like I need to have anything on my feet. Here we go. One thirty-five. Recently, I realized you could actually input into Garmin, Garmin Connect, a true max heart rate versus that ridiculous age predicted heart rate, which is rarely on point. So, if you're into that kind of stuff, try to keep things current. Uh, try to see if you can produce a true age predicted max to make sure those heart rate zones are appropriate. Take it off in five. I know it's hard to tell from this angle, but I'm a huge, huge fan of creating a lot of tension and then almost letting go of that bell when you're at full extension. And then re-engaging that high tension as well before that bell begins to descend. So high tension, relax, high tension, wash, rinse, and repeat. Hope that makes sense. So at that finish point, almost letting go of the bell. As you come back, we're regaining that tension. Off in five. So when I'm exhaling, letting go ever so slightly, One thirty three. So ever so slightly at the very top, high tension, strong quads, strong glutes, strong back, but yet we're learning to relax those hands at that extension. And then as we go back into that eccentric phase of that swing, you then obviously regain that tension at the handle. All right, guys, here we are almost on to 18 minutes. Hopefully you're feeling great. That's what I love about this kind of training. You're moving a lot of weight, but you're not beating yourself up. Here we go. My son, who is far more tech savvy than myself, suggests that I have two iPhones, one picking up on heart rate. So I don't have to finagle with that, that watch, but there's always something you can do, right? Always something you can do. All right, 10 seconds. Five. Peak of 133. 
for what it's worth. 191 is the peak heart rate that I achieved back at the, uh, the Kettlebell Mile in 2023. I know I've mentioned this before, if you're still hanging with me on this video, I would love for others to join virtually or in person here in Minnesota. But it's carrying a 53 pound kettlebell for one mile. Don't put it, not allowing yourself to put that bell down for that mile, for time. Here we go. It's a fantastic test. I'd invite you all to uh, do it, join me in that. Again, I believe that's July of this year. It's a great one for that core integrity, aerobic endurance. Uh, but again, the goal is to carry a bell. I don't remember the age adjusted numbers, but 53 pounds is what I utilize, is what Strong First suggests. And so therefore, that's the weight I use. Okay, five seconds. We're now at 20, almost 21 minutes. There are some age adjusted, gender adjusted weight change or modifications to that kettlebell mile. I believe for female up to 50 uh, years old is 35 pounds. I could be incorrect. I believe that's what it is. Okay guys, here we go. We're almost on to 22 minutes. T minus five seconds. Six. What I absolutely love about swinging heavy bells is you absolutely feel the muscles of the erector, of the erectors of your spine. They're all being worked, they're all being stressed. You feel those lats. It's a fantastic, fantastic exercise. Helps you with that grip strength. Uh, one thing I have noted in the past is it's essential to really focus, really focus on that deep breath, exhaling hard per rep. Here we go. Three, two. There's so much power there. So much more power. 138, 139. I see that a lot with a lot of folks. They're timid. I don't know if the word's timid. Perhaps they don't know better. Uh, perhaps it's just a new thing. But learning how to take those deep breaths, let out that pressure, it's such a huge element. And for some reason, people are just too quiet. So anyway, just something to think about. In the confines of your home gym, even outside in other gyms, I say, say, say breathe. Here we go, deep breath in. Peak heart rate, 139. 
Okay, we've completed 25 rounds at this point. 25 sets, 25 minutes, in approximately five minutes. Let's roll a deep breath. One thirty eight. Honestly, you should be able to do this probably for another twenty minutes. That is the beauty of this low rep, high load, plenty of rest. All right, let's party. We're taking off in approximately five for a minute 26. Alright guys, for tomorrow, Saturday, the primary focal point will very likely be to be a heavy deadlift using the hex, contrasting that with uh, a ring muscle up, non-kipping, uh, non-kipping ring muscle up. Here we go, three, two, That got a little sloppy. One thirty nine and dropping. Okay, thirty seconds to go. Okay, here we go. Finish line is right in front of us. Deep breath in. Hope you all have a fantastic Friday as we draw close to the finish of this workout. I do hope some of you are finding value in these full videos. It's a relatively new thing for me. I usually just go really small and send them out. I do hope they're a source of encouragement, perhaps. Just know I'm in it with you. I always tell my clients it's a lifelong journey. Here we go, taking off in three. 29 minutes going in. One forty two P cart rate, one forty two. Bonus round, I just do one more. Hit one more here. Sinus infection, I tell you what, I have not been able to shake this thing. I've had a sinus something for 
probably two to three weeks. All right, last one, here we go. Okay, three, two, Outstanding job this morning. That was 144, 143 and dropping. I do hope that session met you where you're at. Always know, I always tell my people, everything that we're doing is scalable, okay? So even if halfway through this thing, you start to feel really, really sloppy, no, we could just drop down a bell size and or modify rep range and or add more rest. Stay strong, stay in the fight.